Lichtenberg figures are named after the German physicist George Christoph Lichtenberg, who originally discovered and studied them. Lichtenberg figures are branching electric discharges that sometimes appear on the surface or in the interior of insulating materials. Lichtenberg figures are often associated with the progressive deterioration of high voltage components and equipment. The branching, self similar patterns observed in Lichtenberg figures exhibit fractal properties not unlike those found in natural lightning. A lightning strike can create a large Lichtenberg figure in grass surrounding the point struck. These are sometimes found on golf courses or in grassy meadows. Branching root shaped fulgurite mineral deposits may also be created as sand and soil is fused into glassy tubes by the intense heat of the current. Lichtenberg figures may also appear on the skin of lightning strike victims. These are reddish, fern like patterns that may persist for hours or days. They are also a useful indicator for medical examiners when determining the cause of death. Lichtenberg figures appearing on people are sometimes called lightning flowers and they are thought to be caused by the rupture of capillaries under the skin due to the passage of the lightning current or the shock wave from the lightning discharge as it flashes over the skin. This video will demonstrate the creation of Lichtenberg figures on wood objects available at the Create for the Cure 2018 auction at Clark Advanced Learning Center. Please note that the voltages and amperages used in this demonstration can cause death. Whether it kills you slowly by respiratory paralysis and burns or instantly by stopping your heart. Rest assured that it will hurt the entire time you are dying. Accordingly, please do not try this at home. First, the wooden object is painted with a non-toxic electrolyte solution. Next, 12,000 volts at approximately 35 milliamps are applied using a high voltage transformer and 6 gauge copper electrodes. The electrodes are moved over the surface of the object and additional electrolyte is applied as needed until the surface of the object is covered to the artist's satisfaction. In order to preserve your sanity, the video of the remainder of this process has been sped up between 8 and 20 times. Next, the object is scrubbed with a wire brush under running water to remove charred wood. The object is then set aside to dry prior to staining, painting, filling, or sealing.
Some items were simply stained and sealed. Others were painted with a UV reactive paint prior to sealing. Still others were filled with UV reactive epoxy prior to sealing. We end with a quick view of some of these items under regular and black, UV, light. <music>